Now moving on to the seventh bit of fifth problem. He has asked us to prove that sin theta minus 2 sin cube theta by 2 cos cube theta minus cos theta is equal to tan theta. In order to prove this, let us consider the left hand side that is sin theta minus 2 sin cube theta divided by 2 cos cube theta minus cos theta that is equal to in the numerator let us take sin theta common then we get the numerator as sin theta into 1 minus 2 sin square theta divided by in the denominator let us take cos theta as common then we get the denominator as cos theta into 2 cos square theta minus 1 that is equal to if we write sin theta by cos theta separately then it is nothing but tan theta into 1 minus 2 into here we have an identity that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 which implies sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta let us substitute it here then we get 2 times 1 minus cos square theta divided by 2 cos square theta minus 1 which is equal to tan theta into 1 minus 2 times 1 is 2 and minus 2 times 2 square cos theta is plus 2 cos square theta divided by 2 cos square theta minus 1 which will be equal to tan theta times here by rearranging the terms we get 2 cos square theta minus 1 by 2 cos square theta minus 1 here in the numerator and denominator we have 2 cos square theta minus 1 as common which will be cancelled and finally we are left out with tan theta which is our right hand side so here as LHS is equal to RHS we can say that sin theta minus 2 sin cube theta whole divided by 2 cos cube theta minus cos theta is equal to tan theta now moving on to the ninth bit of fifth problem he has asked us to prove that cosecant a minus sin a into secant a minus cos a is equal to 1 by tan a plus cot a in order to prove this let us initially consider the left hand side that is cosecant a minus sin a into secant a minus cos a which is equal to here cosecant a can be written as 1 by sin a minus sin a into secant a can be written as 1 by cos a minus cos a which is equal to let us take here LCM as sin a then it becomes 1 minus sin square a in the numerator and if we take cos a as denominator in the second term then it becomes 1 minus cos square a in the numerator so all that will be equal to we have an identity that sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1 from which we can say that 1 minus sin square a is nothing but cos square a into 1 minus cos square a is nothing but sin square a whole divided by sin a into cos a here if we observe numerator and denominator clearly sin a cos a gets cancels and it divides numerator in cos a into sin a times so finally we got the simplified form of LHS as cos a into sin a let us also find the simplified form of RHS on right hand side that is 1 by tan a plus 
cot A which is equal to 1 by tan A can be written as sin A by cos A plus cot A can be written as cos A by sin A which is equal to 1 by let us take here LCM as cos A into sin A then we get the numerator here as sin square A plus cos square A as we know from the identity that sin square A plus cos square A is equal to 1 and by sending this denominator to top it becomes cos A into sin A which is the simplified form of RHS here the simplified form of left hand side is equal to the simplified form of right hand side so the given equation is true moving on to the fifth question prove the following identities where angles involved are acute angles for which the expressions are defined now moving on to the solution for first bit he has given an equation and asked us to prove that Now let us initially consider the left hand side that is cosecant theta minus cot theta whole square. So let us equal it to cosecant theta can be written as 1 by sin theta minus cot theta can be written as cos theta by sin theta and here whole square remains same that is equal to in the bracket let us take sin theta as LCM as it is common denominator then the numerator becomes 1 minus cos theta and its whole square which is equal to 1 minus cos theta whole square divided by sin square theta so from the identity we have that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 which implies sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta let us substitute it here then it becomes 1 minus cos theta whole square divided by 1 minus cos square theta here 1 minus cos square theta can be written as 1 square minus cos square theta which is in the form of a square minus b square and can be written as a plus b into a minus b therefore that will be equal to 1 minus cos theta whole square divided by 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta on splitting the 1 minus cos square theta here if we observe numerator and denominator we have common factor 1 minus cos theta which cancels 1 minus cos theta square 1 minus cos theta times so finally we got 1 minus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta which is our right hand side so here we got LHS equal to RHS So finally we can say that cosecant theta minus cot theta whole square is equal to 1 minus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta. Now moving on to the second bit of fifth problem. He has asked us to prove that cos a by 1 plus sin a plus 1 plus sin a by cos a is equal to 2 times secant a. So let us consider the left hand side of given e equation that will be cos a by 1 plus sin a plus 1 plus sin a by cos a and now let us simplify this which is equal to let us take LCM as 1 plus sin a into cos a then the numerator becomes cos a into cos a is nothing but cos square a plus 
1 plus sin a into 1 plus sin a is nothing but 1 plus sin a whole square. That will be equal to cos square a plus, this is in the form of a plus b whole square, which is nothing but a square, that is 1 square is 1, plus 2ab, that is 2 times 1 times sin a, which is nothing but 2 sin a, plus sin a whole square, that is sin square a all divided by 1 plus sin a into cos a that will be equal to let us write together the terms sin square a and cos square a plus 1 plus 2 sin a all divided by 1 plus sin a into cos a. Now we have an identity that sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1. Let us substitute that. Then it becomes 1 plus 1 plus 2 sin a by 1 plus sin a into cos a which is equal to 2 plus 2 sin a divided by 1 plus sin a into cos a which is equal to let us take two common in the numerator then we get 1 plus sin a by 1 plus sin a into cos a in the numerator and denominator 1 plus sin a is common and that gets cancelled finally we are left with 2 times 1 by cos a which is equal to 2 times we know that 1 by cos a is nothing but secant a here finally we got 2 times secant a as answer then which is nothing but our right hand side so here LHS is equal to RHS and hence we proved the given relation between the trigonometric ratios.